What's going on everyone? So if you don't know, now you know. One of our biggest videos was how to lap pull down. Filmed this many years ago, a lot of things have changed. So we're gonna update that video for you and make sure you're maximizing your form on the lap pull down. So let's jump into it. So first and foremost, there's different attachments. I'm gonna do three variations at the end of uh, this video. But just know, generally lap pull down, you're going wide grip, trying to pull into your lats, okay? What a lot of people go wrong is they pull in front of them and they're using their triceps. They're pushing down like this. So your goal is to pull from your lats here, pulling your elbows down, squeezing together like there's a tennis ball in between your back. So first and foremost, for positioning, you wanna make sure this is just above your knee, just enough that you can slide it and you're in there firm. You don't wanna lift you up and down. It's gonna look nice and silly. So you're gonna grab it, you're gonna slide your knees right in here. So now you can see, if you're really tall and lanky like me, my hands push farther than the hyperextension. So it's gonna cause me to lean back a bit. Now where people go wrong, is they lean way back, and they try and do this, okay? That's more of a row. Instead we want that pull down motion. So I'm gonna make sure I have good flexion from my abs, because what we're not doing is this. We're not hyperextending into the spine. That can cause discomfort right here on your T-spine. It can cause long-term damage. You end up pulling your back, it won't be any good. So instead you're bracing from your ab, envisioning you're pulling those elbows down into your chest the best you can, squeezing, letting out with control from the lat, breathing out, squeezing with those elbows down, stretching out. Down, squeezing, stretching out. Once again, I'm not hyperextended back. I'm not too far forward where I'm making this mistake, but to give you a little bit more info on those three mistakes, we're gonna hand it over to Kyle. And number one common mistake I see probably everyone doing is just improper body positioning. So they're either leaning way too far forward, too far back, or without realizing they're actually completely upright, which in a way is incorrect and you're not gonna be able to target the lats to the best of your ability. So what I mean by this is some people are just pretty much a nice straight line right here, but research has shown that over the years you get better lat activation by leaning back slightly to the point where you'll see here, I'm able to pull into my lats way, way, way better than if I'm kind of more upright like this. It's a lot harder to get full range of motion when you're fully upright. So you don't wanna be leaning all the way back here. You don't wanna be here. You wanna to be to that point where you're almost straight, but just leaning back slightly, driving your elbows into the ground just like this. And number two common mistake is pulling more with the biceps instead of the back. You know, this is a tremendous back exercise and the biceps should be worked, but it shouldn't be all biceps. So what I highly recommend doing is grabbing onto the bar and the second you do it, try ripping it apart. Ripping, 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 pulling each arm away from you, that instantly activates the back. Like try it with a hockey stick, with anything, and the second you start ripping it apart, it just activates the back and then you're able to initiate and pull down, gets a bit of biceps, but mainly back. A lot of times people just grab the bar without thinking, they're just pulling it down, you know, just like this, they're using all biceps, very little back. Number three is quite simply not stretching out that negative. So you have two positions to this rep. The concentric here where you're squeezing, you're gonna breathe out. And on the eccentric, you're gonna breathe in, right? So on the negative, right? The opposite of the positive flexion, you have negative flexion. So when I'm squeezing, a lot of people just go like this. I'm losing all that tension, right? That negative is where I'm really gonna rip up some fibers, really build the widths on the lats. I'm gonna squeeze, I'm really gonna let it stretch me as far as I can, just before the weight hits. And you can see I'm really stretching into that lat, getting a full expansion and a full contraction to really maximize my squeeze and muscular development. So there it is, how to lat pull down better. You know, before we taught you to do it, now we teach you how to do it for the best possible muscular development, and that's what it's all about. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe, it means the world to us. It gives us motivation to keep making this content. We have 60 other form videos for you to check out, really learn how to get the most out of it. We also have a free form guide, second link in the description down below, to have a personal training in your pocket with before and afters and short write-ups where you can take the PDF to your gym and just get at it. We have it on the screen, so go ahead. Claim that for free. We'll see you in the next video. Stay awesome. Peace out.